hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be talking about part two of my braces experience uh the last video i had done was when i was getting the top row initially installed but as you can see i have both on now so i'm going to be talking about that experience it was slightly different um you know what i have been eating how i've been adjusting to having braces and just overall how i feel about them in addition to that i am going to be talking about the cost how much it cost overall um almost all of you wanted to know how much it cost so i am going to be talking about the cost as well and what the next steps are in terms of my treatment so if you are interested in all of that just stay tuned and keep on watching okay so we're gonna get up close and personal in my mouth again so i can show you guys what both rows look like installed so you guys don't judge me my nails need to be done so uh this is what it looks like and as you can see as with the top row there are no brackets on these two teeth right here and that's because those teeth will be extracted and we'll talk about that a little later down in the video so this is what it looks like still have all the black elastics i like the black <laughs> um but something different that was done that wasn't done to the top row are those iron casings that you see on my molar so those were put on i don't remember if you guys i don't know if you guys remember i had some blue elastics after i had installed the top row those are spacers that uh were meant to give me some space between my teeth for these to be put on so these are on now and they are supposedly um supposed to increase the impact of or rather help to make my teeth more sturdy when i'm chewing if they had just put brackets on the brackets would have most likely um come off because a lot of the chewing that i do is with my molars so that was the explanation I'm sure there's a lot more to it so yeah that's what my teeth looks like now the experience was a little bit more uncomfortable because of the fact that they had put these things on and they kind of it was it didn't hurt hurt per se but it was just like pressure and it was pretty uncomfortable um, and also the after I had it on it was worse than the top row in terms of like me being able to eat with the top row because I had the bottom row free. I could chew a little bit more, but with the bottom row, even though the top row was kind of, you know, healing, I guess. Um, it wasn't as tender, but the bottom row was super tender. I couldn't chew. Uh, I mostly ate like jello and like mashed potatoes and stuff like that. It was it was more difficult than when the top row was on. So um going into the stuff that i ate or have been eating so after probably about three or four days of having both on i have been able to eat i've been just sticking to like soft turf foods like noodles and i eat a lot of ramen pasta i don't like eating rice i don't like rice in general but i don't like eating rice even more now because it just gets everywhere like in all of the brackets it just ugh. things that i used to love eating like wings it don't make sense anymore because i like to chew my bone and i can't chew bone because i don't want to risk the brackets breaking so i'm saying that all i'm i'm saying all of that to say that my eating habits have changed i've been trying to not change it <laughs> i've been trying to still eat the things that i like to eat and i've been finding out that it just not gonna work it just not gonna work um and i'm just gonna have to stop eating certain things not necessarily 
because of the fact that it's going to affect my um the brackets and breaking them but just because it's it just it's not worth it sometimes i'm eating and i can barely taste the food because three quarters of the food each up in the bracket <laughs> i'm going to have to find a technique to keep most of it in my mouth but it's almost as if i'm not tasting anything and like i don't like that and i am the type of person that likes to put a lot of food in their mouth like i have to stuff my mouth with food i know it just it's not cute but we just feel like you know the food tastes better when your mouth full of food and I'm not able to do that with the braces so it's just like food is not as fulfilling as it was before and I always feel sad about that I think that might change as I get used to eating and all of that but for right now I'm just I not really feel it also it's it's not a comfortable feeling like I don't know how I don't know how people get fake braces because apparently fake braces is a thing, right? And I don't know why anybody would intentionally put on something that is fake in their mouth for... I don't even know why they do it. But having braces is not a comfortable feeling. Like if I didn't have to do it, like I wouldn't do it. And of course, it's still a, it's a choice, but it's something that I feel like is going to benefit me in the long run. So if I didn't feel insecure about like my smile and my teeth and all that like I wouldn't have done it but like people there are some people that purposely go ahead and like put on fake braces like not even the real one the fake braces and I don't know why because it, having braces is like so uncomfortable like all the time I just like sometimes I'm I look at myself and I'm like why did you do this um so it's uncomfortable but I do believe that that is something that's going to change with time like I'm going to get used to it and I have been getting used to it so it's not bad I feel like my mouth is always open like I can close my mouth completely I, I mean my lips can go over my teeth like so but even with my lips over my teeth my tongue is always in like sort of at that position like my my tongue is always bit it's it's i don't know how to explain it but i can't close my mouth and it feels weird um has my teeth started to shift or move yet i haven't seen any significant movement only because i know that i need to extract the teeth first and then that's when i'll start to see movement but separate and apart from that i believe that the teeth have started to straighten because my bite is off like it's not what it was before so i do think there has been some movement like shifting because my bite used to line up a little bit better than it does now so i feel like some movements are going some 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 are going but it's not apparent so there is that what else um oh yes going forward so what are the next steps so the next steps are I have to extract my premolars two at the bottom two at the top and this is because of the protrusions that I have and that's the only thing that is going to fix it so once I extract those four teeth and they heal then I have to go back to the orthodontist and they will attach the wire to the back teeth um, and then that will be the last well that's, that's not going to be the last the last major thing that I'm going to have to do and then from there it's just going to be monthly um, going to the orthodontist to have the wires tightened and all of that so I'm looking forward to having the teeth removed because once that is done I'm definitely going to be able to start to see the movement and the changes and everything so yes now on to what most of you are here for and that is the cost like how much does it cost now before i talk about that just a little disclaimer getting braces is a personal decision right just like getting a car it is an investment and it's something that costs money like dental anywhere you go it, the dental work costs a lot of money and in canada it, it costs so I don't want anybody coming for me 
keep your comments to yourself if you're gonna come for me and talk about why you spend so much money and raise blah blah blah, blah. it's my money okay <laughs> and this is what i want to do this is something that i've always wanted to do so this is a judgment free zone here so that's the first thing and the second thing is that the cost is going to vary depending on obviously where you are i am in canada it, it, it's going to even vary depending on the province and the different offices that you go to the different orthodontists and all of that so there are going to be like there's going to be a disparity wherever you go but this is my experience this is how much uh i am paying for mine and it is also going to vary depending on the treatment so depending on you and where your teeth are at it might be more expensive might be less expensive so it really all depends um the type of braces that you get if you get metal braces ceramic braces invisalign it's going to it's, it's going to vary so that's the second thing so let's get into it now first thing is first i'll talk about the consultation right so that's the first fee that you might have to pay some consultations are free so i had booked i i had booked two consultations with the orthodontist that i am with now and another orthodontist so the other orthodontist their consultation was free however with this orthodontist her fee was 65 dollars just to consult and to see if one you need braces if two you can get braces because not because you want it means that you can get it and all of that before you proceed so i ended up not i ended up going to my orthodontist first and not going to the free um consultation orthodontist because their appointment was later and when i went to my orthodontist i started off fell in love with her and just decided to stay and just cancel the previous orthodontist so when i went there uh her her fee was 65 dollars for the consultation and i was like okay cool i'm just getting like a consultation or whatever um we spoke about everything and then she told me that the first cost would be to get the x-rays and the molding so you have to do the molding you would have seen in my previous video where i got the sort of clay in my mouth to get the molds of my teeth and this is something that you have to do whichever orthodontist you go to you have to get that done um so that they can curate your treatment plan so the cost for that was I'm sorry, no, my almost spit. <laughs> and it's all. So the cost for that was five hundred and sixty dollars, I think. Or was it five hundred flat? I believe it was five hundred flat. And um, the same day I went for the consultation was the same day I had done the x-ray because I was I was ready. I, I already knew that I was going to get it done and I didn't need to sit and think about it. So because I decided that I was going to do the x-ray and the molding that day, she waived the consultation fee. So I just paid the $500 for all of that. That is not a part of the overall cost of the braces for my orthodontist so it depends some will take it away from the cost of your um overall treatment some won't so that was like a separate cost so we got 500 dollars so far yeah okay before i get into the cost of the braces itself um the entire treatment know that here insurance covers some employers cover orthodontist orthodontic treatment however it is up to a certain limit so my orthodontic um rather my insurance doesn't cover for me because i am over 80 over seven over 17 years old so it covers for children i think 10 or 12 to 17 years old and it's just a thousand dollars so depending on where you work um you might get uh coverage some sort of coverage for that so definitely check with your insurance provider to see if orthodontic treatment is something that is a part of your medical insurance so with that being said my insurance didn't cover anything at all 
so after we did the consultation and everything and i got the moldings and x-rays and all of that we came we sat down to discuss the treatment plan what needed to be done and how much it was going to cost so again this is going to vary depending on the state of your mouth i honestly thought that my teeth were like not bad because the only thing that i had the issue with and she said it herself was the protrusion i have some space on my bottom row and then just getting them straight so like i've seen some people more time is like you know overcrowding teeth the hair so teeth the hair so i was thinking yeah my own gonna be on the like cheaper side because like i don't think that i my my mouth needs that much work and i didn't even think that it was going to be for as long as she quoted so there is a range that she quoted and she, initially in the consultation she said that it could range from seven thousand to seven thousand five hundred dollars so i was like yeah my own is going to be seven thousand dollars and i wasn't surprised at that cost because when i was doing my research the cost of braces here in ontario um was in that range like the seven thousand like maybe you could find somebody for like six thousand um but in that range so i was like okay cool and based on where i had gone you know i was very comfortable with the service that they were providing they seemed very you know state of the art um knew what they were talking about and i wanted to go to somewhere that made sense so that my mouth not get jacked up and that i would be satisfied with the results at the end of the time period so i was like okay i don't want to go to anywhere that is like super cheap and then i'm not comfortable with the results and all that so i was like you know what let me go somewhere that makes sense so when she calls it seven thousand to seven thousand five hundred dollars i was like okay yeah seven thousand dollars mega pay not the case after they did my treatment plan and everything she said that for me it was going to cost seven thousand five hundred dollars like the maximum and i was like oh child um so that was that is the cost of the overall treatment seven thousand five hundred dollars and that's canadian dollars so and that didn't include five hundred dollars that was already paid for everything as i said before however you don't pay all of this one time <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, but yeah, you don't pay all of this money. I mean, you can if you have the money like that. Um, you pay a percentage of it. I believe it was five or ten percent. Is it five? I don't remember. <laughs> so I paid a deposit. I paid a deposit um, of that amount, and then the rest is to be paid on a monthly basis throughout the the treatment period. So depending on where you go they might give you a different kind of plan to go on so you might end up paying more or less for your deposit and overall pay more or less each month for the treatment depending on how long um the treatment is for so yeah that is the overall cost of the braces however in addition to that for myself because my treatment is my treatment I have to get my teeth extracted for those extracted so I have to go to a dentist for that the orthodontist does not extract teeth so I have to pay an additional amount to have my teeth extracted and again it is what it is right so as soon as I get those extracted then that's it I will only have to pay the monthly um fee the monthly fee or for the time period so I, I and it includes of course all the the whatever is in my mouth the additional things that they will end up having to put in my mouth because i might have to do um what do you call it power chains um some screws a whole lot of other things throughout the period so it includes all of that and it also includes the permanent retainers that will have to go in once the treatment is done and they are also going to shave down um my um these two front teeth that need shaving down so it includes all of that and the the monthly orthodontist visits and all of that so i am okay with that uh, but they are definitely 
cheaper options out there i feel like uh, because i didn't really shop around <laughs> i didn't really shop around because i was very comfortable with where i was going at night and that was very important to me to be comfortable with who i was going to and where they were and all of that stuff so i'm definitely okay with um the cost and everything so yeah um that's basically it was there anything else yeah no that's basically it so the next steps is just to take out the four teeth that need to come out and i will update you guys on that once i get them out and once i go back to the orthodontist to get the um the wires on the back teeth and yeah that's basically it guys so thank you for sticking around this video is way too long longer than i expected it to be um don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next one